Hey guys, welcome back or if you're new here, my name is Ruby and welcome to my channel. you guys through what my current morning skincare routine is. I always get so many questions about what products I use on my skin and how I keep my skin looking nice and hydrated and glowy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you through what my current products are, what I've used in the past and just other recommendations that I have. For those of you who don't already know, I have really dry and sensitive skin, so obviously the products I use are for my skin type, so these may not work for you if you have like oily or combination skin, um, but yeah, I thought I would just throw that in there. So my skin type is super duper dry, a little bit sensitive, and I also get eczema on my face as well, so I am just so blessed. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I will do in the morning is to cleanse my skin. So I've already done that. Um, but the cleanser I'm using at the moment is the Renewed Hope in a Jar Revitalizing Creamy Foam Cleanser. And that one is from Philosophy. I was gifted this from a company. Um, you can see on there, Rye. Um, but yeah, I've been using this cleanser for a while and love it. Um, doesn't irritate my skin and yeah it's just a really nice way to cleanse your skin so then after i cleanse my skin if i am feeling a little bit bougie so if i've got a bit of time on my hands i will do an eye mask and my current favorites are these bio effect eye masks so first you go in with this eye serum and then you put like the patches over the top and i only have been using these for like two weeks but they are honestly the best eye masks i've ever used i have really really like dry under eyes and there's some serious lines in there serious like purple discoloration like they're so gross um but these are the best under eye things that i have ever used so yeah if i've got an extra bit of time in the morning i'll do that um so you just take the little serum and just squirt some of that out and then pop that under your eyes but yeah for so long i was trying to find like an under eye like serum and patches that worked and I just couldn't find anything like everything I tried just wasn't like worth the money and like I didn't really notice a difference but these patches have been amazing then you just open up the little eye patches and this is what they look like in there so they've got another little serum thing on there don't know what that is um but yeah they have to be used together so like the eye serum and the patches work together and then just pop that underneath try to get it in as close as I can without it like touching my eye um, but yeah so you have to use the serum and the patches together that's how they're like designed to work so it's not like you'd use the serum like without the patches if that makes sense So I've got those patches on now. I just leave them on for 15 minutes. I'm going to hang out for a bit and then I'll come back and show you guys my next step. Okay, so I have had these on for 15 minutes now. So I'm just going to take them off. I realized after I put them on, I should have done like a close up before and after. Like one side with, one side without. But I didn't, so like it's too late now. Okay, so once my under eyes have been taken care of, I move on to my serums. So I'm using two at the moment. The first is the Dr. Dennis Hyaluronic Marine Hydration Booster. So I'll always use something that has to do with hydration. Obviously having dry skin, I just want something that's going to give my skin some hydration. And that just comes in a little dropper like that. Um, so I just pop that one, two, three, and then pop that everywhere. And I always take it down my neck as well. The other serum I'm obsessed with at the moment is this one from Esme. Esme, I think that's how you say it. Um, and this is the Pomegranate Brightening Serum. Um, so I've been loving this. Um, so after I've put on my hydration one, I will put on some of this as well. And it just gives my skin a bit of an extra glow, which I'm always looking for. 
You can probably already tell like as I'm putting these on like my skin starts to look like brighter and less dull and just more hydrated. Then because the weather has been changing and it is getting cooler as and it is getting cooler um, I have also been using this Olive Skin Serum from Botany so during like summer actually no probably all year round I use three serums I'm trying to sound like I'm not extra but I am like I have to be my skin gets so dry so probably all year round I use like three serums um, but this one is amazing it's like super sort of oily not oily but like it's just really hydrating and feels so nice on the skin um, but yeah it does I guess leave like a bit more of an oily feeling to the skin so I'll wait a while once I put this one on before I put on like makeup or anything else um, but yeah so they are the three serums I'm currently using so they all kind of vary in price the Dr. Dennis one is probably a bit more expensive but the Esme and the Botany serums are a bit um, cheaper I just wanted to show you guys some of my other favorites that I used to use as well. So one is this Booster Serum from Hylamide. You can pick that up at Priceline for $30. Um, and that's one that I always love to use. It's really hydrating. Another great thing to use for dry skin it can be Rose Hip Seed Oil. So I used to use this one from The Ordinary. So I used that for a while. That's another affordable product. And then the other one that I was loving from The Ordinary is called the Buffy Peptide Serum. And that looks like that. And these are all available from Priceline as well. But yeah, I just wanted to give you some more sort of affordable serums as well. Um, and some other recommendations if you can't get your hands on these ones. They are some that I have used in the past and loved. So once I have let those serums kind of soak into my skin, I go in with one more product, well actually two more. This is the last one for like my whole face and this is from the Drunk Elephant and this is their like whipped cream moisturizer. I just picked up this recently and I have been absolutely loving it and it's got this really cool top on it too. Like press it down like that and then the product comes out. How cool is that? And this is really nice for the morning. Um, just gives you a nice hydration it's nice and like thick and yeah have been loving this so that is all the products I use for my face then I go in with one more thing for my eyes so this is from Rationale and it is their daily eye cream um, Rationale have some really great products as well they're just really expensive like if I could afford it I just use their full they have like a six step process for like morning and night um, and I would just use all of their products if I could afford them but some of the serums like 200 each um, and definitely can't afford that for like six products and they only last you well I mean they last you a while but like three months um, but yeah I really do love their eye cream because it's got a bit of a color to it as you'll see um, so I just pop that under my under eyes and that helps to hydrate them it's got SPF in it and also obviously helps with the discoloration because it's got color to it. So yeah, that one helps like kind of brighten up my under eyes a little bit more and just give a bit of youthfulness back into my skin. So that is it for my morning routine, guys. I hope you can tell the difference in my skin now to when I started. I feel like you can tell it looks like much brighter. I look more awake, more hydrated, more glowy. Um, but yeah, um, I am currently loving all these brands. Um, the Drunk Elephant have some amazing things. Rationale is amazing. Dr. Dennis is amazing. Botany have a really great products especially if you've got any skin conditions like me like eczema dermatitis anything like that they have some products um, specifically for that so they're a great natural skincare brand to check out as well as Esme Esme I should have looked up how to say that first um, but they have some really amazing serums they've got the brightening one they have a redness one charcoal one and like heaps of other serums um, that are all really great as well and as I said, yeah, so they're all the brands that I'm currently using, but in the past I have loved things from the Hyalamide and the Ordinary, so they are some really um, great brands to check out as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little skincare video. If you guys want to see my nighttime routine, because um, obviously I use different products to take off my makeup. Um, I use some of the same serums, but I use some different products as well in the nighttime. So if you would like to see what I use in my nighttime skincare routine, don't forget to give this 
this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and yeah, that's everything. Thanks so much for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.